Hi, I'm Anne Marie Tiernan from Channel 13 with a reminder to be kind. You know, you never know what someone around you, next to you, what they're going through. And you can encourage them and you can give them a compliment. And it might be just the very thing that makes their day. That is your power. Make sure you use it. Hi guys, Julia Moffitt here from 13 Sunrise. What a year we've had, right? This pandemic has been crazy and it's made a lot of people struggle. Maybe you're one of them. And if you're struggling, maybe one of your friends is, or maybe somebody that you don't even know, but you see at lunch or you see in the hallway, be the person of kindness to make their day. Don't let them struggle. Don't let them go alone. You don't have to know them. You don't have to be their friend. Be to them what you hope someone would be to you at a time of struggle. You can, you can be the change. Be kind. Hi, it's Dustin Grove from WTHR Channel 13. I'm here to tell you I remember my middle school years. They were hard. There were so many jerks that were terrible to me. But let me tell you, it gets better. I promise. And in the meantime, don't sink to their level. Be kind. It doesn't cost a thing, it's free. In fact, it pays to be kind. Make a difference. Hi, my name is Kelly Green. First of all, thank you so much for being open-minded with your heart and your mind. Nobody likes to feel excluded. So let's include everybody. Maybe go out of your way once a day to someone you don't know very well. Introduce yourself and give them a compliment. Maybe something about that they're really good at math or they're great at basketball or you like their hair. If you give them a compliment, it's gonna make them feel really good and you're gonna feel even better. Hi guys, my name is Meredith. I'm a reporter for Channel 13 and I'm so excited to be a part of this initiative to just encourage kindness in everything that you do. Uh, I think in the age of social media, it can be really easy for people to be keyboard warriors. You should see some of the things that people will like tweet at me uh, after, you know, I have a bad hair day or something like that on air. And when someone takes the time to just say something kind or to tweet something kind, to comment something kind on Instagram, that can really change someone's day. So. I just think it's so important, you know, even if someone is being themselves and it's so unique and different and maybe just a little bit out of left field, you know, instead of uh, taking the time to maybe say something negative or to screenshot it and send it to a friend to giggle about it, instead just choose the opposite. Just comment and say, this is so cool or this is so special, this is so unique. I think those little tiny things, just little moments of support can bring people so much kindness and so much happiness. And I think that's what life's all about, just being happy and, and being nice to people so I hope you choose to uh, just be really kind kind is cool and I think as you get older and you look back you'll be really happy that you chose to do that in your life hi it's Angela Buckman from channel 13 it is no one eats alone day I love this day I'm gonna share a quick story and let you know that uh, we moved schools when I was in eighth grade a terrible time to have to change schools and if I didn't have a sister I would have been eating alone so if you're out there and you see somebody eating alone and you can help out, always do the right thing and be kind. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Longnecker with 13 News and I wanna to talk to you today about a campaign called No One Eats Alone. And it is a campaign to end social isolation among middle schoolers. And we know that that can really be a difficulty for a lot of kids, maybe not for the quote unquote cool kids, and you know who you are, right? The kids that everybody looks up to, the kids that some other kids wanna be. Well, the way I see it, uh, if you are one of those kids, right, you have a responsibility to set the tone in your school, to set a tone for kindness. There's a saying out right now that uh, kind is the new cool, and I really, really believe that. It doesn't take anything to be kind to someone. It doesn't take anything to ask someone who is alone to come and sit with you and your friends uh, at your lunch table uh, and enjoy a conversation. Maybe you don't have anything in common with this other person. So what? So what? Have a conversation, ask some questions. You might gain a different perspective. Heck, you might even gain a new friend. You know, some of my dearest and best friends at this stage in life are people that don't look like me, they don't sound like me, and you know what? My life is the richer for it. I have a friend who talks about putting on your empathy hat, having empathy, and that means putting yourself in someone else's shoes. And just think, you wouldn't want to eat lunch by yourself, and this other person probably doesn't either. 
Now I want to talk to the kids who maybe haven't found their place yet, right? The kids that maybe are eating alone. I just want you to know, don't give up. It will get better. You will find your crew. You will find your stride. You will find your place in this world. Don't give up. Some of the most incredible adults are people that others underestimated when they were younger. So it doesn't take anything to be kind. And don't be kind because your parents tell you to or because the teacher tells you to or heck, even because the TV lady is sitting here telling you to in this video. Be kind because you never know what another person is going through. And you don't ever know how that one small act of kindness could change someone else's life.